Hey guys, did you know that Vaporeon is in danger and we need to act quickly to save it from Vaporeon in the tri-state area? See, I like Vaporeon, not as much as some others might, as recent memes will lead us to believe, but out of my three favorite Pokemon, Vaporeon is one of them. I think that recent public opinion on designs from Generation 1 has become a bit mixed, with how simple some of them are. But iconic and lovable designs are still there. I think the original trio of evolutions are cool, but I personally believe that Vaporeon stands out. It's simple on the surface, but is something pretty unique, being an aquatic mammalian quadruped. And the fact that it's actually a good Pokemon helped it to stand out the rest of the time. Vaporeon has a decent amount of bulk, mostly coming from its high HP stat. And being a water type gives it only two weaknesses. Electric is common, and grass isn't totally unseen, but water does tend to be one of the better defensive typings since they all normally have high HP. And Vaporeon was one of the templates for this. Having access to useful moves and a healing ability like Water Absorb has just kept it as a solid Pokemon. Now, being a Pokemon that's been around as many people have grown up and matured, several memes have spawned from this Pokemon, with a particular post being the most infamous. And all the plush toys, all the unsavory mentions, all the fan art, all the mason jars, it's, it, it, it's far too much. But I mean, do what you do as long as you don't hurt anybody else. Just keep it out of my comment section. Calm down, son, it's just a drawing. And in case you're wondering, that clip of Misty being turned into a Vaporeon isn't real. It uses footage of the band episode Electric Soldier Porygon with some new animation drawn over by uh, th this internet user. But anyway, I've got my own Vaporeon plush and it's pretty cool. I treat it just like any other Pokemon plush by letting it sit there and not doing anything to it. This is one of a series of the evolutions that came in a cool box that was sold at Toys R Us. Dang. Remember Toys R Us? Must be really nice for people in Canada who still have them. Although I'm glad I grabbed this one for myself while I had the chance. I've recently stopped trying to collect Pokemon plushes, but at least I'm able to own my favorites. I think that Vaporeon has also had some really nice artworks in the trading card game. But I mean, so have the evolutions as a whole being such a fan favorite bunch of Pokemon. And it's just neat to see the legacy of all of them last for so long. When it comes to playing the Pokemon TCG, I jump in and out of it, but I played a bit during the 6th generation. And my deck at the time was a pretty fun one that used Vespiquin as an attacker and the evolutions to power it up by changing its typing. And among those was a Vaporeon card that has one of my favorite artworks. Back during the summer, Pokemon Go was first released, you know, when it wasn't very good and there were only the first 150 Pokemon. Vaporeon was one that everybody wanted to get their hands on, to the point that one spawned in Central Park, New York, city and it caused a stampede of players as word spread. Think about that for a moment, Vaporeon caused a stampede in New York City. What a time to be alive. Over in the anime, Vaporeon has had consistent appearances. Episode 40, the battling Eevee brothers introduced the original three evolutions: a Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Flareon, owned by these three, insert appropriate insult here, who sport the worst fits I've ever seen. But the episode mostly focuses on the usual anime dilemma of whether or not to evolve your Pokemon, in cases where it's the trainer's choice. Mikey is the main character of the day who owns an Eevee and is being pressured to evolve it. I like that Misty connects with Mikey and gives him some advice. Team Rocket shows up to the party and tries to steal the evolution stones. Side note, when they're driving away with the Pokemon that they stole, I love this moment where a horsey spits out a trail of ink so that they can be found. One of those things I love about the anime where Pokemon use their abilities and moves in ways that make sense, but that we wouldn't see in the video games. But anyway, the group arrives to confront Team Rocket, they're defeated, and they blast off as usual. And it's a fun little episode that mostly shows off the evolution stone gimmick and yo, is that an Eevee holding a glass of juice? But getting to see Vaporeon is pretty cool. We get a glimpse of its signature ability of melting into water, using the move Acid Armor, which constantly brings up questions. Because Vaporeon just melting has become a meme all to its own? Okay, it evolves from Eevee, which is a fox dog cat, but it's got a tail like a dolphin, and other fins like a fish, and can also just become the water? Mm, I'm just gonna say it's, uh, burger. Okay, so literally right as I'm finishing up editing this video, there's been an announcement in Pokemon Masters for a Cygna Suit Misty Sync pair along with Vaporeon, and I just thought that was a pretty crazy coincidence in terms of something that's happening in Pokemon, and the video that I just so happen to be uploading in a few hours. Uh, I don't have much more to say about it, except that I can't wait to lose all my gems trying to roll for it.
It's always neat to see how much certain Pokemon are loved by the fans, sometimes to an unhealthy degree, but it's all just a testament to how certain Pokemon designs can endure over the years. I really did just want to make a video to talk about one of my favorite Pokemon, and I felt the time was right. So please leave Vaporeon alone. But anyway, hey, this is Gatorx, and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you'd like to stick around and show your support, there's the subscribe and the like button, all that stuff there. I'm also on Twitter as well. But uh, anyway, this has been Gatorx. Have a nice day.